Well, I'm going to uh, work on the uh, clay today and uh, get it uh, ready to go to the foundry if uh, I get the uh, go-ahead from the client. Right now, I'm going to change the angle of the clay. In other words, uh, tip it so I can get underneath and see areas that I can't see normally when it's standing. And I want to be able to fill all the uh, things that need to be filled in. And so, i got to figure, well, how am I going to do this? Time to play with some clay. As you can see, I got a, a real deep hole right here underneath uh, the uh, blanket, and uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, fill it in the best I can. Now before I was using uh, the sound off my uh, GoPro, I just set up my Canon camera so I can get better sound. The GoPro is a good camera, but it just doesn't have the best sound quality in the world. See now, here's holes that I couldn't see with this standing upright. Okay, here's another hole up in here, and so I'm going to try to fill that in the best I can. Big hole. All these holes add cost. Okay, this is the uh, deep hole or cavity behind uh, her dress. I gotta fill that in.
So let me orient and or orient orient your <laughs> let me orient you to what you're looking at. This is the back or of the inside of the robe. Uh, and this is his leg here and her dress here and the gun case here and the bottom of the buffalo robe there. It's cold today. Uh, we're getting snow up in the mountains, so fall is here. in the back after all this. I'm just going to show you how I got the camera set up. It's uh, aimed at underneath their chins here. And uh, right there where the baby's head is, but I don't think you can see that one. I might wait and do that after I get it her. There's a hole right there underneath her chin. Somebody asked me about these silicone tip tools, if they can get them, and you can't anymore. You can make your own, but you'd have to do a little research on YouTube and on the net to see how you can make your own silicone tools and what materials you would need. Got it standing back up again. Uh, there is some detail work that uh, was smashed back here, but I can fix that easily. I just have to redo it a little bit. And uh, but other than that, it, it came out good. I've got filling in to do back here. I'm just going to do it off camera now. And uh, I just wanted to show you basically how I was doing it. It's uh, stuff that has to be done you're getting ready to uh, take something to a foundry to be cast. You've got to make it castable friendly. And uh, it's more castable friendly now than it was. So I'm going to end the video here and I'm just going to continue working on this. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow or next day. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time